Hockey is a fast-paced sport. There's never a dull moment. Players are constantly moving up and down the ice and can reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour. But how can the human body generate that kind of power? Keep watching to see what makes this well-oiled machine move so efficiently. Believe it or not, the bones and everything that connects them is a big part of what helps a Blues player go from zero to 30, stop on a dime, and hit moving targets with incredible force. But what are all the parts of the skeletal system, and how does it work together with your muscles? The musculoskeletal system consists of bones, muscles, tendons, ligaments, and cartilage. The bones are the structural support of the body. Without them, muscles would have nothing to attach to. And tendons are what anchor muscles to the bones. When a muscle contracts, it's actually the tendon that pulls the bones along for the ride. Ligaments are what connect one bone to another. When you have a ligament injury, it causes instability in the joint, and that instability keeps players from reaching their usual power or velocity and increases the chances for further injury. Articular cartilage caps the ends of the bones, allowing them to glide smoothly, even when performing weight-bearing activities like walking, running, or skating. Okay, because they're all connected, I know if one part of the system isn't working right, then it affects everything else I do on the ice. But why is that? When your body works in unison, from the ankle, to the knees, to the pelvis, and upper body, it creates a summation of force, like a whip, that provides the power to hit a shot at full force. Now imagine getting all of that to work together while wearing skates with blades as thin as two stacked quarters, standing on ice and trying to hit a moving puck. I see sticks and bones breaking games all the time. I've certainly broken a few back in the day, but is a broken stick anything like a bone fracture? When a bone fractures, it creates some of a road map and the x-ray reveals the force and direction of the fracture. For example, a spiral fracture results from a twisting force in opposite directions, whereas a transverse fracture results from a bending force. The higher the force, the more shattered the bone becomes. Understanding the direction and degree of injury force allows us to essentially reverse that force when we set the bone so it heals properly and makes the bone as strong as it was before. When I was sick, my doctor would tell me I was running a femur. I always thought that was humorous but the musculoskeletal system is no joke. It played a critical part in helping me perform at an elite level in my career, just like it's helping blues players do the same today. That's the science of St. Louis Blues Hockey.